Hi, and welcome to this ClickEarn demo. My name is Lars Heinrich, and I'm the training manager of ClickEarn. I'm gonna take you through all the nice features of ClickEarn. Now I'd like to show you the most important part, namely what the end user will get. So the example I'm gonna show you here has been embedded into the IFS solution. Let me show you. Here we see an example of a learning portal, and I'm gonna go into one of these business areas and show you one of the processes that have been recorded in here. The first thing the end user will be seeing is the uh, HTML file of the written documentation that ClickEarn has created. What you see here, all of what you see here, has been created uh, just from my recording. Based on that, we produce seven different formats of learning content. The first thing we're looking at here is the HTML file of the written documentation. Uh, ClickOn has created each and every sentence for me. It's cropped all the images perfectly in the size that I wanted and put in all the highlighted areas. That ClickOn has done through the full process. The only thing that I did here was to record the process and click on produce. I'm going to show you how that works a little bit later. The HTML file is part of the written documentation. This also uh, is shown as a PDF and as a Word document, pretty similar to what we're looking at here. But uh, what I would like to show here is also the PowerPoint slides. ClickOn has also created PowerPoints. The same process described. Now instead of having the cropped images, I'll have the full images uh, and all the sentences down below. Here you see the PowerPoint slide. All the full images, same highlighted areas in there, same text beneath each of the slides. So in case of classroom training or any other needs where you need to blow this up on the big screen, you will have the full images shown in here. Even more than that, ClickOn has also created video content. So ClickOn has created both a show me, try me, and a test me video. I'm gonna show you all these the show me video is a self-running video. Everything is narrated, everything is subtitled, everything is perfectly aligned in there. Let me show you. Navigate to procurement, order, purchase order. Click on the tool strip item new. You may also press F5. Click on the data field supplier. So that's what the show me video looks like. There's also a try me video. So the try me video is a simulation of the process they need to go through. So they can actually walk through the full process without being in the live system simply by going through the simulation. Let me show you this one. Navigate to procurement, order, purchase order. So now I need to interact with the simulation. I need to go and click on the specific area. Click on the tool strip item new. Then Clicker will progress F5. through the process and show me where the next action is. So this can be compared to a sandbox system. You don't need to set up any data for this. You don't need to maintain data in a sandbox system, anything like that. They can simply just go through this process whenever they need. They can be learning exactly at the point where they want to be learning. So once the end user has been going through any of the content, either looking through the written documentation, looking through any of the videos, trying out the process themselves, they can also test their abilities to go through the process before going into the live system. For that, we have the test me. The test me is similar to the try me, but now I'm not going to be shown where to click. It will tell me what to do, which actions to do in there, but I need to know my process myself. Navigate to procurement, order, purchase order. And as you see here, it's not going to be showing me exactly where to do the action here, so I need to remember this. If I don't remember, let's just try to click around a couple of times. As you see here, I needed to click three times before it actually shows me where to go to. So this way, even though I'm going through a complex process, I might forget a little bit, but I'll actually get the help I need during 
the process. This might be one of the best ways to be learning, doing a mistake and actually getting the correction in here. I'm going to take this the rest of the way through the process just to show you the end result as well. Click on the tool strip item new. You may also click click on the tool strip item list of values. You may also press F8. Click on any row in the column supplier name. Click on the click on the data field coordinator. Here at the end of the try me. I will get a detailed evaluation of how well I performed through the try me. In this way, I will know if I'm able to go through the process or if I need to go and learn a little bit more. So the last thing I'm going to get here with the uh, click learn application, with the learning content we've been added into a learning portal, is the click learn assist. The click learn assist will be able to guide me through the process. So in cases where we have processes we don't really know by heart, could be something like uh, doing time registration, which we don't do that often, uh, I will have the option of going through the process, being led on screen by the clicker and assistant. Let me show you this one. So once I click on the link to the click and assist, the click and assist will pop up here on my screen and take me through the process. As you see here, first of all, the click on assist will in this case navigate, navigate for me. So once I progress through the process order. with the click on assist, it will progress with me. So in this way, I get all the uh, help I need to go through this process.